never understand you if you're working during Sabbath. That day I said, I'm not going to do it again. Because way back then I even told Father, yeah, Father, yeah, I will give you more than 10% of the work I had during Shabbat. And then he gave me the word and I said, yeah, I said, do you think I am joyful with your love offering when you transgress about my Shabbat? He said, I hate your love offering. That gave me the understanding that why Joshua wrote the word, it is better to obey than to sacrifice. As we get progress in our faith, we should getting more mature. As Father Yah gave us more understanding. You know, I am so joyful when Sister Tunet told us that maybe next year we can do the whole lamb and have somebody to kill it, just like what it is said in the Bible. And I said, Father Yeh is giving us more understanding to do his will. And even though years before we want to do it, but then just like, nah, it's okay. But as Father Yeh gave us the understanding to observe His law better than that we are or we were, then it is a blessing that we are going to see it in our lifetime. Because it is written that when we know that something is good already and we fail to do it, it becomes sin to us. Way back then, we don't know. That's why it was written, I blink in your ignorance once. But once you know the truth, do we still have the excuse? Saul said, man, you have no excuse. Because in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 19, he said, is it, it is better for them not to know the truth than to transgress the law. You know, way back then in the Old Testament, it is written in Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice, indeed, and keep my covenant, then you shall be a set-apart nation, a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. To whom Father Yah is saying this word? Is it to everybody? Is it to all men with the life on, this, on their nostrils? It is not. He only picked one nation here on earth, way back in the old script. The same thing with us. The words of Father Yah that is written in the book in the Bible is not for everybody. The salvation is offered to everybody, but salvation is only given to those who accept the fact that our Rabbi Yeshua died for their own salvation. The old script is written not for those people in the promised land when people in there are not following Father Yes' command. Because way back then, even though they are what you call humans, Father Yah said to the Israelites, kill all of them. So we were chosen as the set-apart nation of Father Yah to live here on this earth. Why? Because he said, you are my peculiar treasure. I pick you out of the race of humanity. I pick you 
out of billions of people today in this world. You shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. We were chosen even way back then in the old script with the Israelites. Fast forward today. We hear our minister Shandon told us yesterday or last night. We need now to celebrate the feast of Father Yah without malice. Without the old self. Why? Because we were both with the price. That's why Rabbi said, why you call me master if you will not follow my command? Why? Are we going to go back with the words of Isaiah that it says, these people are honoring me with their lips and your hearts, and yet their hearts is far, far away from me. And our rabbi said, they are hypocrites. Are we going back like the people of the old script? And we're going to see ourselves to be considered hypocrites? You know, when Israelites promise to Yehoshua that they will obey the word of Father Yah, you know what Yehoshua said? In Joshua chapter 24, verse 19. He said, you cannot serve Father Yahweh, for he is a holy Elohim. He is a jealous Elohim, and he will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. Why Yehoshua is telling this to the people of Israelites? Because Yehoshua know that once Yeshua, Yehoshua died, his people will go back to commit sin. Even Moshe said, if I am alive now, and you are doing and committing your sin, how much more when I die? Are we just going to do our faith if somebody is looking at us? If Pastor Blackwell is just around, then we are going to do our faith? If Mama Orbe is around knowing that he will, she will chastise you if we commit sin. Is that what we do our faith? If somebody is just around? Yehoshua said, I want you to choose this day whom you will serve. But since you are here, we are here, we choose to observe this day. Now, if we choose to observe this day, then we should observe and continue doing it, Saul said, with fear and trembling. You know, it is written that our rabbi, when he cast out evil spirit, the, the, the evil spirit knows our rabbi, isn't it? And every time they hear him speak, they fear our rabbi and they tremble with our rabbi. Are we getting callous that we could not even fear in it trembling when we transgress the law of Father Yah? You know, my son is always say if there's one sermon that he always brag about it, is the one that says, callous makes your, uh, sin makes your heart callous. Which is true. Because as we are trying to navigate our life to go around the word of Father, yeah, we think, we are smart, justifying what we are doing. But Father Yah said, be set apart. Because I chose you to.
to be set apart. Because if we cannot discern what is good and what is evil, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2, he said, Do you not know that we are going to judge the world? But if we, in this life, cannot even judge, cannot even determine, or cannot even discern when to do good, or what to do, then he said, how are we going to judge the saints if we could not even judge the small things here on earth? If we can say, knowing that we transgress the law, and we say that Father Yah will understand, do you think so? The word says, delight yourself to Almighty Father Yah, and He will give you the desires of your heart. The question is, do we understand the word delight in that verse? When we delight ourselves means we are so joyful that today is Shabbat. We are so joyful that we want to fly to the sanctuary. We are not dragging ourselves because it is Shabbat. That is not joyful. When we do the word of Father Yah, we feel the happiness, the joy, just like you see that Father Yah is smiling on you. You see that our rabbi is making an standing ovation when you do his word. That's what you should feel. That's what we should feel. That every time we do his word, we are elated. Because we do it with love, with respect, and with whole heart. Why? Because it is written. If you will love me, he said, love me with 99.99%. .99%? No, it is not. Because that is not even 100%. So meaning, Father Yah is expecting us to do better every day. History is for yesterday. That is gone. That's why he said, tomorrow's never been promised because we are living daily through his mercy. If he will allow us to live until the end of the day, it is a blessing. It is more blessing if we're going to see another day tomorrow. But if this is our last day here on earth, is Father Yah going to be delighted on what we are going to do with this last day of our life? You know, in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he said, Be not conformed, conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. As we progress here on earth, I know that we are still in the midst of non-believers. 